Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy back again to another video. Welcome back to the C35 side restoration and new parts in the front. Um, so today is really installing new fog lights on the bumper that we had. So finally get some parts on that. It's gonna be installing the bash bar and as well as painting the hood locker. That should be it. After from that, it's just defenders, the paint over, and some paint the tires. But right now, this is what we got going. On. Yeah, it's even more worse than last time. But I mean, we have a boy here paying any bash bar. See if you have to go on. Um, <coughs> here's what we have to deal with. So, we're taking out, I think these are where is my 15, 15 millimeters. Right, as you guys can see. So, taking out those two, just two on the other side. Take it out and slip in that new new one. Then I have to redo the wires to put in for the fog lights. And yeah, from there we just move on to the hot lock. This will be a little bit difficult. So I think if I unbolt here, because we have if we put in the other one, it's gonna enable us to take out this whole system. Even the wires to pull, as you can see, and that's routing all through here. And then this side, it's gonna come right here. Oh no! Oh, it's somewhere down in the corner there. I'm gonna clean it. Yeah, should be a bit better. Somewhere down inside, somewhere inside there, I think one of those lines, which is really disgusting. And then I'm gonna have to. Go underneath here where the hood lock is, hood latch, and take out the string that is pulling. But that's a lot of work to do, so we might have an alternative where is to take out this wire right here. And there's something to release it. Oh, okay, I think I already see it. Okay, so this one should be simple. <laughs> I've already figured it out. So if I can zoom in and focus right there, okay. you see that that moving there. That is for the line that is pulled for the, for this latch to open. I'm guessing it's this one. Oh. Yes, I'm guessing it's for this one. So if we get that out, it should be a little bit more easy and simplistic. But so far, so good. I can't remember which one is a normal camera, so let me just. I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Yeah. So it's coming along. So I'm gonna leave you guys on a time lapse. Yeah. Gonna clean it looking. Gonna leave you guys on a time lapse and you'll just see all the work. So what I'm gonna do first, take off this light, take off the fog lights, take out the brackets that's holding it, put it on, make sure all the lights are seen. We're gonna deal with the bash bar. I'm gonna get the wires done and then I will come back and deal with the system right. so so far I have all four fog lights in so you can see and we got the old bash about so and yeah, you, you did a real good work cleaning it on this camera, dog. <laughs> it looking more silver, <laughs> right? The black. So that is going. There's a new one that is going on in front, so this bumper can be able to stay on. So what we got next? Bash bar. I'm gonna finish up putting the fog light brackets and the number plate. When that goes on, we're going into the bash bar. Put them in on the sides, as I said. As you guys can see it's already out i'm hoping it's just a one shot in if not well then whatever but yeah that should be it for now and then when i'm done i'm gonna be taking this out and seeing how does this mechanism work because i'm hoping it's quite easier so yeah let's move into it Right. 
shiny new year. After I bought 20 minutes. <laughs> Because <laughs> of this fucking shit dog, the license said there was one and I was still rusty bold as getting real problems to do in. But we get the whole bash by in. And now is the hood latch. Pretty strong. I can stand up on it and there'll be a lot of strength. But we clean it up so it's actually looking pretty good. All bolts are, bolts are tightening. As you can see, we had to do a little finessing, which is get the hammer pong a little bit so you can be able to go in. But, I mean. It's going good. Soon the bumper is going to be on and that should be it. So now we're going to see what's going on with this. This is our mechanism to lock the hood. As you can see, it will go down. But it won't lock. And reasons why? Because it's not for this hood. So we're going to figure out what is going on with it. We're going to get back in the video. I am going to show my struggles, but I want to know what is I'm dealing with first before I do any videos on this properly. So... You guys, um, <laughs> let's get into it. <laughs> it ain't go seize it. It wouldn't seize it. All right. Dude, oh my gosh, this is this is so refreshing, so good. So what we had to do, we had to clean, there was like some dirt and some grease. Yo. There was like some dirt and some grease at the back of it that wasn't allowing us to like get a grip of the line to pull the latch, right? And also there was like a little bit of like finessing we had to do with it. We had to put W40 because it was like really rusting up. As you can see, it's not in perfect condition, but he's gonna get some paint and I'm just gonna flash some paint on it. It is what it is, but I am so excited, dude. Oh my gosh, you can finally close it. Like, look at this shit. Okay? It's totally fine. Alright, this is, this is how it's supposed to lock. It's supposed to lock. Next one was not locking at all. It's locked, and all you gotta do, pull the latch. Latch that is right. <sighs> yeah, that just pull that latch. And now that I got the hydraulic shocks, revealing the RB25 meter. Dude, oh my gosh, this has been such an interesting plus challenging sting, sting, well, no, thing for us to do, but it was rewarding. It honestly was very much rewarding. Like doing all of this. Was this oh, changing the hood, changing the bumper, changing the bash bar, fenders, which I'm not getting into because this one's kind of tricky compared to mine's headlights, even a lock mechanism. This is amazing because this is my first time actually doing something like this, but I've learned and wow, this is amazing. Even for the both of us because this is the first time we both of us are actually doing it. But before everything get finalized, get put on, I'm going to fix the wires, run them properly, so maybe, maybe not the fog lights might be on. And yeah, we'll see what's, you know, up. But finally, everything is lining up and it's gonna look <sighs> back to how it was. We went from no headlights to one headlight, which is, eh, but still. We went from wrong bumper to proper bumper, and now we went from shitty ass hood shocks and bad hood a brand new hood brand new shocks and it's amazing but yeah guys so i'm gonna put you guys back in a time lapse and after that uh probably gonna get some some tires i'll be gonna get some air but it's amazing how you feeling my brother Blessings. Ah, we are finally we just fought for the first time but let's get in uh time lapse let me get the wire sorted get everything put on and get back to when everything is done Everything is actually done. It's back intact. It's supposed to actually look. 
uh, as you can see a little bit of color differences but everything looks more intact it looks more better and from here it's just paint and back off to my friends yeah um i have a next video coming as well i don't know if you guys can recognize the difference between this headlight and this headlight but it has something to do with that and it has been something that has been on tiktok that says lemon could use lemon and i think baking soda could use the headlights so can i see if that's actually true because i don't believe it but it actually cleans up a little bit more so we're gonna check that out and see but that's a day for that from here you just paint uh getting the fenders and everything lined up and from there that's it yeah thanks for being here for another video and peace <laughs> proud of my fucking self cheese